Hey you guys, it's Danny Bell. I hope you guys are having an awesome day today wherever you are in the world. Today guys, we are on day 52 of our farm for Island of Sugar Bell. And guys, I am beyond thrilled because, oh my goodness, this is the final big build on Sugar Bell. I'm so excited. I will actually be updating the dream address um, two days from now on Saturday. I cannot wait to share the fully completed island with you guys. I know it's been a really long time coming. So for today, I just wanted to finish up our yard um, for our homestead. I wanted to sort of create a little garden area with a faux barn and just sort of create a nice little homestead area for us. Um, you can see there's a ton of items that we're gonna be using for this build today. I have already put down some of the pathing um, just because that does tend to take up a lot of time. So I've kind of alternated a lot of these rock patterns um, along with our typical daisy path that we've been using all throughout the island, as well as just little sprigs of flowers here and there and sort of incorporating the stone path with the daisy path all throughout the area. So I'm really looking forward to working on this build with you guys. Um, definitely I'll be sort of showcasing things here and there many little mini builds on the island um, after the fact just to kind of showcase anything in particular if you guys have any small builds around the island that you happen to see in some of the transition areas that you would potentially like to see um, featured as builds on the channel after the fact please message me you can find me on instagram at peppy crossing play i do aim to please so definitely looking forward to finishing everything up on sugar bell i'm really really thrilled so let's go ahead and turn our construction app on and and speed things up and get going and we'll do a little bit of chatting about the progress of Sugar Bell and just everything that I'm super beyond thrilled to share with you guys about it. Okay, so real quick, as we're going on this build, I wanted to throw down some of the in-game path, uh, the dark dirt path. I wanted to sort of create these small little square areas where we can put in some of the veggies. I really love the veggies in the game. I'm thrilled because we did kind of put them throughout um, the area of the island with different villager yards and sort of incorporated them in that. I just sort of wanted to create one area on the island where we have sort of incorporated all of the things together. And I figured our homestead is probably the best place for that. So I'm just sort of creating these little square patches where we can fill in um, with different veggies and plants and things like that flowers and then we'll start filling it in with some of the placeable items as well so as I'm filling in these little areas with some of our veggie plants let me know in the comments you guys I'm really curious to find out from you what was your favorite build done on Sugar Bell so far I'm beyond thrilled to be able to share this island with you guys and I I truly appreciate all of your kind comments and support and I really hope that Sugar Bell brings a lot of inspiration for you if you're doing a farm core island or if you're even just doing a, a city type of island or town and you're sort of infusing different farm elements into those uh, types of builds I really hope that Sugar Bell brings inspiration to you in your islands and I always love to see how your builds turn out. If you happen to find any inspiration in any of the builds on Sugar Bell, I would love to see how your version of the builds turn out. Please feel free to tag me in any of the photos on Instagram. Again, at Peppy Crossing Play. If you'd like to potentially have your dreams, your island's dream featured on the channel, I do have a form you can fill out in the description of most of my videos to potentially have your island's dream featured, as well as if you've done any builds on the DLC Happy Home Paradise. I'm starting to put together a little bit of a collection here to maybe do a little montage video of some of the amazing builds that I've seen you guys do. Um, so really looking forward to that. I definitely do have plans in the works for another island to start up here um, hopefully soon. I'm kind of debating on what theme to go with. So if you guys have a specific theme in mind that you'd like to see on the channel, please leave it in the comments because I always um, want to put out content that you guys enjoy and that you find interesting and anything that you're in particular looking for as far as ideas and things of that nature, what would be helpful to you? Let me know in the comments because I do aim to please. All right, so just catching up a little bit on this build, I've put in some of the barbed wire fence and then, guys, I don't know, I guess it was just blind luck. We actually had a real rock spawn in the yard overnight. So I left it there because I didn't have the heart to destroy it, um, as well as we added a little bunny garden, a garden bunny decoration here next to the carrots. And for now, I'm just sort of filling in with some storefronts here on the side of the house to sort of fill in our homestead and make it look a little bit larger than it is. It sort of gives it a little bit of an extension effect, like 
we're adding on to the house. And then for right here, I'm actually trying to create a little rose garden. I love little flower gardens, and I feel like being that this is a farm core island, I wanted to incorporate something even on a small level. I found this super cute umbrella pattern here. It's a pro design. It's a little basket or a crate of roses. And then just kind of placing around this tall round to topiary and a little watering can. Just something like this, I think, is a small little build that um, you can fill in a small area on your island and just sort of make it look really lovely and cute. I added a little horse here and buggy and then just kind of filling in this area with different items that are farm core related and sort of match the coloration of the build itself like this red milk can and then this wooden box and just sort of like I said placing little items here and there that I think coordinate really well with the build itself. I completely adore all of the farm items that the 2.0 um, update of the game really brought to the game of Animal Crossing New Horizons. It's been amazing to be able to do a theme like this on the island and I'm really truthfully gonna miss it you guys. Um, I hope that at some point we'll probably revamp some of the builds but for the most part I'm really happy with how this island came together and like I said I'm beyond excited to share that with you. Um, just a reminder I'll be relaunching the Dream of Death dress this Saturday in a couple of days and I can't wait. I'll probably Probably put together a little trailer a short little trailer on the channel just to let you guys know when it's ready to go because I definitely plan in the next couple evenings to vamp up any of the little areas pick up any weeds and things that are scattered about so it looks just so for you guys I can't wait okay so now we're gonna go ahead and add this little garden wagon and then I was really debating on what to do here guys but I ended up choosing these round street lights I really love this item I think they're super cute it's been a bit of a challenge incorporating them into farm core but I did find a couple of spots where I felt that they were perfect our train station build in particular was a fantastic use for that and I went ahead and actually vamped that build up slightly since the 2.0 update anything that we did on sugar bell prior to the 2.0 update I definitely found a way to incorporate some of the new 2.0 items so I'm excited to show those to you guys during the final tour. Okay, for this section over here, this is actually right by the plaza. I wanted to have this area be really grand and huge for this little entrance area to our homestead, only because it's right over the bridge from the plaza, and I wanted it to definitely scream farm core. So I figured what better way to do that than use a couple of these huge silos and just sort of fill in the area with things like these little wood partitions used as fence, and then trees and different barrels and plants and things of that nature. I love this gazebo, you guys. This is another 2.0 item I'm totally obsessed with. I'm sure you all are as well. I love the rusty brown color. I think it's perfect for something rustic or farm core related. And then something as simple as putting plain party lights in front can definitely add a lot to a build like that. Layering items I think is huge. And then again here with the wood partitions, I love using these as fencing. It seems to be a really great solution if you don't want to actually use real fence. I think they fill in nicely. They're a nice slim item that I think tends to not take up a lot of space. So the wood partitions have actually been a great go-to for all of my fencing needs here for Sugar Bell for us. Okay, so this section here, I wanted to put out some of these little inflatable bird items. I love this. I think it's super cute. I like this item. It's definitely something you think of for a beach or for a, a summer type of build um, by the water, but I kind of wanted to use them more along the lines of how a lot of us use the duck decoys in the game, just sort of making them look more like birds hanging out by our water here. Definitely a concept that I think would work for a lot of different Animal Crossing Island themes for sure. Okay, so as I'm putting down some more of these random items to fill everything in for our homestead area, it looks like it's coming together pretty well. I'm just gonna be framing things in here with some of these party lights, and then we'll head over to the opposite side of the yard and start building our faux barn. I'm really excited to add that element to this build. So in the meantime, as we're wrapping up the last build on Sugar Bell here soon, I will be putting out a tour of it, an official tour video of Sugar Bell for you guys on the channel here in the coming week or so. I wanted to give you a little bit of a head start to see everything in person for yourselves once we go ahead and relaunch the Dream Address on Saturday. And then I'll be following it up, like I said, with an official tour video for you guys too, just to celebrate all of our accomplishments because I'm super proud of us and thankful of how this island came together. And again, just wanted to say thank you so much to all of the subscribers for all of your amazing theme suggestions and ideas. I truly, truly appreciate all of you guys from the bottom of my heart. And I'm so thankful for all of the kindness that you've showed to me in the Animal Crossing community. It just really means the world to me. 
Okay, so getting back to our build here, I've just placed some more items here, like this windmill that's whipping in the breeze over here. It's sort of a windy day on Sugar Bell. I think it's fixing to storm. And I've added some of the elements, like the fence. I know I've used a ton of that on the island. It's been really great to have that item incorporated. In particular, if you missed the quick build that I did for the land bridge over by um, Tangy's Orchard, I find it super useful. And it's been so fantastic being able to use an item like this in place of the jail bars to create all kinds of cute little land bridges and just sort of section off areas on your island. It's been fantastic. Okay, so just to catch up here, we're putting a clothesline down. I've placed some of the little potted plant items as well as one of these retro bus station seat areas. And now we're gonna create our faux barn here on the back side of the island. So I'm basically terraforming up one level here and I'm gonna create a space that's three by four. Now you can definitely expand this item if you this area if you wanted to create a taller barn. I had a very limited space available, so this is sort of the three by four space that I've created to start placing the storefronts. I definitely am gonna put some of the custom design path down here underneath it. I tend to think that it fills in and it tends to camouflage the grass which, which I find helpful in particular if you're doing a build like this on your island in the flyover zone. If you have visitors coming I think that this type of pathing covers up the grass really nicely so that when you're flying over you can't see all of the little imperfections. Okay, so now I'm placing four of the storefronts. I'm gonna be sandwiching them back to back. It can be tricky sometimes, but just definitely have your ladder available so you can sort of walk around and move everything into place. And then we'll go ahead and climb down and start working on the front part of our faux barn. Okay, so for this one, I'm just filling in with a few of the extra rock patterns and some of this really cute cherry blossom flower pattern. I'll be sure to put all of the custom design patterns in this build today in the description of the video. So if you guys are looking for something like that to use for yourselves, you'll have it readily available. So right here, I'm actually staggering some of these storefronts. They're not quite in the middle because I wanted to leave a two square gap so that I can actually use one of the new storage sheds as double doors for the front of our barn. I do tend to use custom um, custom designed simple panels for this use but in this case I figured that it might be fun to sort of have doors that are dual use that we can actually use to get into our storage easily as well. Yay, I love it. I actually love how the green brings out the green on the silos in this build. And I know that barns aren't traditionally yellow, but I really like the coloration of it just for spring to keep everything fresh and different. And since we did a huge giant red barn on the backside of the island for our wheat field build a while back, I wanted to do something slightly different next to our house. Okay, so now we're filling in this area. I wanted to create this little lilac patch here. This has been a huge trend in the Animal Crossing community, creating little flower gardens. Um, I love these purple hyacinths. I think they're beautiful. I like the look of them. They have a little bit of height, so I wanted to create that. Um, so I'm just sort of filling in this area, especially with this giant pine tree. I love Oh my gosh, love this placeable pine tree, you guys. It's one of those things that I think is huge, um, a huge game changer for decorating in this game. And I love them. You'll definitely see them all strewn throughout the island of Sugar Bell. So they just make for a nice way to be able to fill, fill in an area. And since they're a different shape than the traditional real plantable trees, I think that they're definitely something that's huge that fills in nicely for us. Okay, so I'm decorating this little lilac patch. I really love this. This has been a fantastic trend in the Animal Crossing community, and I found this really cute little umbrella pattern on the portal. So again, I'll list that custom design pattern in the description of the video for you guys if you're looking for something like that. I just think it makes a really convincing little um, crate of lilac flowers and perfect for something like this for farm poor. And then we have this stack of Zen cushions with a custom design pattern on it to look like a little fertilizer bag, as well as just using items like this worn sideways pirate barrel. And then I ended up adding this pergola at the last minute because I love the look of the yellow flowers and I think it's gonna add a nice little added dimension to our faux barn back here. Okay, so now back here, I'm just adding this stone. Um, I guess it's sort of like a little hot tub, but I think it looks perfect for something like this. It's very rustic looking. And then filling in the area with these little goodies. Guys, I love this little rat zodiac item. This is so fantastic. If you missed one of the other previous videos, I gave a little mini um, tutorial as well as listed a link in the description about how to get your hands on some of these zodiac items. You do have to do a little bit of time traveling to get them, but I think for little finishing touches on your island um, if whether if you're doing a chicken coop or something like that and you want to get your hands on the rooster or little things like this little rat you can definitely find info um, on this website to kind of show you what time you would have to time travel to to get some of these items 
All right, so things are pretty much finished up here with our homestead. I'm really excited with how this build came together. I finished it off here with this little package um, that looks like it was just freshly delivered from the post office in town here at Sugar Bell. Um, but yeah, filled it in with lots of little seed bags and veggie baskets just to sort of bring everything together. I'm really happy with how this turned out. I like how this little area turned out with the little swans hanging out by our little pond area. And I really like how this little entrance to our homestead came together. I think it has a nice flow and definitely sort of links the area of the plaza to the homestead area here behind it. I think it's gonna come together really great. Um, and I'm super excited for you all to see this in person when I launch the updated dream address for Sugar Bell in a couple of days on Saturday. Yay! I put a little pergola over here as well next to our little buggy um, and our horse here and then I did this little area that leads to the winery back here a while ago so that is something that you guys have probably seen in the other videos when we've when we've done that but like I said I'll put all of the pattern information for you when I do the final tour in a week or so for Sugar Bell I will be sure to list all of the custom design patterns all in one spot for you so that they are readily available for you too. So we'll just do one last look over here. We've got our cute little retro bus stop seating over here. I really love the tone of this yellow. It's sort of like a washed out dingy yellow and I think it's really great for anything that's rustic and in particular, if you're doing something that's color coordinated, it just has a really fresh spring look to it. We've used this little section over here next to our real veggies with a few faux plants. We've used the anthrum plant as well as the little mum cushion with a custom design crop pattern underneath, which I think is a nice way to sort of change things up from the actual planted veggies. I mean, come on guys, the struggle was real for a really long time in the game before the 2.0 update. That's most how most of us created our farms. So I definitely wanted to give a nod to that for sure. Here's our faux barn, another look at the faux barn, what it looks like when it's all finished. I really like the coloration of it. Like I said, I like how the double door, um, is, is the shed as the double door came together and I'm really happy with how it turned out. I think it's a very convincing faux building. So I've got a lot of surprises in store for you guys here. I know that we're wrapping up Sugar Bell and I'm really, really excited to relaunch the Dream Address here in a couple of days for you guys. So please be looking for that brief little video with all of that information on the channel. So I can't wait and I hope you guys will join me for that. I'm really thankful to each and every one of you for joining me on these journeys. It really truly does mean the world to me. Well, I think that's all for today, you guys. Thank you again so much for joining me. Wishing you all an amazing day. Take care and we'll see you in the next one.